since I don't like to practice piano, I, I improvise. And my father used to have a teacher because I didn't have a piano at home, so I practiced piano and in the school, right down in the hallway, and people come and pass. And my father wanted to make sure that I practice, so I have a teacher that he had a little book that's each time after I finished practicing, he would say, very good, and oh, doesn't, doesn't seem to be very good today, or things like that, a little comment. And then, but I just, since he doesn't know anything mu about music, so I just play something so I could, I just improvise and never practice. <laughs> that's, that's maybe that's be the beginning of my composition. I think that one of the things that I already had an idea what I think music is. And I haven't really changed style. I mean, I'm not, I'm always old fashioned because I, I like melodies. So even now, writing melodies is not fashionable, or writing sometimes you're fashionable, write this and write that. And I've never been with any fashion. I'm always out of fashion. When you're always out of fashion, you're always in fashion. Because fashion is a very stupid thing. Can you imagine now everybody was wearing this bell bottom pants that was in the 60s? And so you have to get rid of all your skinny pants. And who, why would you want to do that? The only people who make money are the people who manufacture fashion. And music is the same thing. You know, it's fashionable to write 12 tone music. Now nobody else write twelve tone music except a few people in California, which used to be anti twelve tone music and now it's all oh and my environmental, the cosmo and all those things. And so that was all fashions. When it was fashionable to be Chinese like ten, twenty years ago. Now it's fashionable fashionable to be Finnish, you know, all the up north people, the Icelandic and blah blah blah. And which is fantastic because everybody has something something to offer. I, so I like it. I think it's, it's a great time. People are open to different things. But when you're open to b different things, other things get shut off. So that's how it is, I think. <laughs> I think home is where you park your suitcase. And you, your root is somewhere else, but you, you, if I carry my root with me, it's like, it's just dangling. It, it never go anywhere. It's just where I am, because I, the, all the, now I've, nowadays people always say the DNA, the DNA is there. So it doesn't matter where, where I live, I think. I mean, I'm, sometimes the Chinese things, is a lot of that you know when the 
leaves fall off, it goes back to the wood. And maybe one of these days I would want to go back to live in Macau because it, it's true. Each time I go back there, there is certain kind kind of um, familiarity. Of, well, if I go to China and I just so deep down, I'm certainly Chinese. Therefore, to answer your question, I'm a Chinese composer. Uh, I always say that once you are once Chinese, you always will always be Chinese. That's uh -huh. how I think. Somehow, because it's how I was brought up, the uh, certain kind of the Confucius thinking is ingrained on, in me. I mean, even though I like Zhuangzi and Laozi much better, but that part of the philosophical and outlook on life is ingrained. Mm -hmm.